Financial headlines lately turned more fearful. Fear of a slumping economy moved the Federal Reserve to lower interest rates by a quarter point August 1st, the first rate cut since the 2008 financial crisis. The U.S.-China trade war deepened, raising the chances of a global slowdown. Meanwhile, Friday's new jobs report showed continuing strength in the U.S. economy's 10-year-old expansion, though slower growth could result in a cut in profit expectations in the weeks ahead, as the stock market continued to hover near its all-time high. With fear more palpable, here's a reminder about a concept crucial to investment success. The risk premium is a rubric of modern portfolio theory taught at colleges and universities. It holds that investors get paid an extra return for taking risk. To quantify the equity risk premium, here are the numbers. Over the 21 and a half years into June 30th, 2019, the risk-free 90-day U.S. Treasury bill averaged an annual return of 1.94%, compared to a 7.30% annualized return on the S&P 500 stock index, according to economist Craig Israelson, whose research we license to share with clients and friends. This 21 and a half years encompassed the tech bubble bursting in 1999 and the global financial crisis of 2008, two full economic and bear market cycles, making it an instructive period to examine and evaluating the risk of owning stocks. The difference between the 7.30% annual average return on the S&P 500 index and the 1.94% return on a risk-free T-bill is 5.36%. The 5.36%, the extra return annually averaged on equity invested in America's 500 largest publicly held companies in the 21 and a half year period. That is the equity risk premium. In a time of heightened uncertainty, stock investors should expect to be tested to accept higher risk if they hope to earn a premium over less risky treasury bills. From a prudent professional investor's perspective, that's an important fundamental to keep in mind always, and especially right now.